Hey, so what's going on guys? Me here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I got a case for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This case is also available for all the other iPhone 16 series. This is the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Grip. So it's a new series. I've actually used a couple of their previous generation cases before and I think they've really, really improved and actually upped their game when it comes to protection. So this case retails for about 89 to 110 ringgit depends on which time you buy and also whether it is on sale so the version i have here is for the iphone 16 pro max i got mine in the white 512 gigs of storage so i'm really enjoying the phone in fact a lot of people say the capture button is overrated but in my opinion i think it's pretty nice it's pretty ergonomic for my use you can see the box is pretty simple you can see that this is to certify that it's original product drop tested military standard so you can see that is for the iphone 16 pro max unicorn beetle grip in black so they do have it in gray they only have two colors for this let's just quickly unbox this can't wait to use it because i'll be going on for a trip so that's the reason why i got this case all right so something also fell out this is to show that it has also the camera control button so this has a cover right here all right, so yeah, basically that's what it is. So you can actually use the features like you would normal, but you cannot use it with wet fingers. So that's something to take note. All right, so let's quickly get into the case as usual. This is actually a two-piece style case. So it's actually a hybrid case, I would say. So it has a TPU on the sides and center is a hard polycarbonate frame, or I should say hard polycarbonate bag in this frosted look. So it's a translucent bag. You do have this uh, ring right here, so you just can prop up, you can put your phone up in any orientation and you can see it's uh, pretty stable. So this also supports MagSafe, if you have a MagSafe charger, I'll grab mine. So this also supports MagSafe as well. You can see the camera cutout and we do have a port cover for the USB-C port, cutouts for the speaker and microphone. You do have a lanyard hole right here, you have some fake carbon fibers. Look. On the sides, you can see both on the right, left. Yeah, so we do have the capture button right here. We have the power button. So we do have an orange button for the mute ring toggle. You do have your up and down volume rocker on the top. Basically, nothing. This is actually metal. You can see, let me give you a closer look. This actually has a subcase branding right here. So, really nice touch. Really looks very military ish look. Very, very rugged. Okay, that's about it. Let's take a look at the inside of the case. You can see there are shock absorption corners right here. You can see how the camera control button looks like on the inside. You can see right here, all shock corners everywhere. All right, so let me remove this case, which I had since I bought the phone. Let's get this removed. So now we got my phone removed from the case. Let me just get it installed volume button side first. And then let's, it should all just step in place. All right, so really, really nice. I do have a sort of a TPU screen protector right here. So this screen protector is not that great. I just use it for temporary basis. But I'll be getting a tempered glass screen protector. So we do have a lip. So you can assume that this does not have a screen protector because it's super thin. So this is how it will look like. So we do have like sort of a curve right here. So it'll be easy to handle when you're swiping from the right and left, up and down. Really, really nice. You can see there's a pot cover right here. Cutouts are spot on, as usual. Buttons are really, really tactile. Very nice, you can see right here. So on the back, you can see the cutout for the cameras. Really nice. I do like this look on the white iPhone. If you do have a bright colored iPhone or even the black one, it would look really, really great. So it's a sort of a tinted look. It's not really a super clear look on the back because you can see the white is slightly tinted. Okay, let's test out the camera button real quick. So let me just press it. Let's hold on the camera button. Let's try to zoom in. You can see it actually works really nicely. Of course, not as good as the actual phone, but definitely does the job well. Let's just double tap, change modes. You can see right here, cycle through the modes. Let's just quickly do it. Just like swipe. Am I doing it wrong? Yeah. Basically, we can actually just use it like normal. 
So overall, a very nice case for the price. I think that I would purchase this over many of the bigger brands like Autobox. I mean, I used to review Autobox, but now I feel that many other of these China brands have actually caught up in the market. And I think this is one of the case that I can really recommend. So before we end this video, let me give you guys a look on MagSafe charging. So let me grab my MagSafe power bank. Alright guys, so I have this MagSafe power bank and also Apple Watch power bank from MacDoodoo. Alright, let's uh, quickly get this charged up. So, you can see, let me power on the power bank. So you can see, it's charging right here. Grip is pretty good. Not the safest because I can just feel this moving slightly because of the kickstand. So you can see right here. But overall, I think it stays in place. Even you can see I'm shaking it from the side. It was only when you shake it up and down from the bot from the top or the bottom, that's when you will feel it like flexing a little bit. But overall, you can see MagSafe charging works with no problems at all. All right, so this has been a quick look at the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Grip. So definitely, I will recommend this case because of the price. I think it's the best value for money and also gives you adequate protection, pot protection as well. And also comes with a kickstand, so it's very, very functional. So that's all for this video. I will leave the link in the description if you're interested to purchase a case like this for yourself. And I also leave a link for the Maxi Power Bank if you're interested in picking something like this up. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.